Good morning, and thank you all for coming. Please be seated. A little early for the games. Shot of whiskey? Shot of Jack. We're going to start this morning as we always do by taking a moment to express and share our individual truths. This is a point in our service where any member of our community and our congregation here should please feel free to express any joys or concerns that you may have. This week was my daughter Haley's birthday. She's four. As some of you may know, Lori's been in and out of the hospital this week. First, some tests after her spill. We still don't know the situation yet, but please pray for us as we try to figure this all out. Prayers for peace of mind. Hi. Uh, my name's Eric. I've uh, been coming here as a member of the church for a little over a year. And um, Wednesday will be coming up on two years since I lost my wife. And uh, it's kind of a joy and a concern because uh, been a joy finding this place and, and Pastor Brian and everyone here has really been supportive and, and great and I want to say thanks. And Eric, please know that we are all, each and every one of us, here for you. Now, if we can, take a moment to bow our heads in prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, we sit here remembering that you are what brings us together. You push us into places that we may not necessarily go ourselves. Dear Heavenly Father, for this we thank you. Amen. Hey, what are you doing here? I came back. I could see that. House is just as small as I remember it. Uh huh. Interstate was closed for the end part of the drive. I had to, uh, Take a different back way in. That's it? Show up here like a goddamn ghost and you want to make small talk. Sorry for flying off the handle before. That's what you got? Two years and that's what you come up with. Unbelievable. Did you clean yourself up? Answer me. I'm sober while I'm in this house. Well, I guess that's my answer, isn't it? What do you mean, goddamn say? I want you to give me a straight answer for once. And let me know that kicking you out wasn't for nothing. Look. 
I came to apologize. I became too much to deal with. But you were too much to deal with because you were strung out on coke. You see the connection? I was too much to deal with because you stopped giving a shit about me. Don't you say that to me. You know it's true. You abandoned me because after mom, you stopped caring. Stop talking! The moment mom died, you quit Shut being here up. and you gave up and forgot that I was Stop going through the same that. thing you were! Why did you come back here? Huh? To make me feel like a shitty father? Well, if you were gonna go and kill yourself off, you could have done that anywhere. You didn't have to come back here and make me watch you do it. I'm gonna ask you one more time. Why did you come back here? Jesus Christ, Isaac. What was your plan? Walk in there like John Wayne? I can't go on knowing he's just out there living his life. But that's not how things work, okay? That's not how we as people deal with this. I guess I have faith that whatever justice he deserves will come to him. But that's not you reaching across the counter to do it for me. You're back already, huh? You do realize that uh, there's no Bible study this week. Oh yeah, I know. I just wanted to see if I could catch you before you left for the night. Isaac came back today. And? Had you called him at all? No, he just showed up. I haven't talked to him since, since he left. Did he look like he was still using him? Yeah. I don't know what I'm supposed to do here, Brian. Eric. He's your son. You really need to make him feel like you're there for him. Especially now. You lost Michelle. That doesn't mean you have to lose Isaac. I'm afraid it's too late for that. It's not too late for that. What did you do to deal with all your grief? When you first came in the church, I saw a man who was holding a lot of demons. But you came here. You found the community. And all the people who go here. It took you some time to let go of all that. I know you struggle with the concept of faith perhaps more than most of us do. But we all do. No one... No one has all the answers. But you've got to remember why you came here and why you keep coming back. It's a camaraderie. Faith has a lot to do with that, but it's the, the friendship, the fellowship, and the support that does too. Am I getting through to you? That is what you need to remind Isaac that he has in his father.
Run my coat. I know you loved your mom. She loved you very much. But Isaac, you don't want to kill this man. I do. I really do. And just get out. I guess I don't know what good I thought this was going to do. I wanted to apologize and things just keep going back to the way they were, but I'm not sorry. I dealt with things my way and you dealt with things your way. about all of it. It's not grappling with some bullshit make-believe. The feeling, the feeling is real. And I forget. I forget about you. I forget about mom. When you wake up, then what?